Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Did you know that your computer is just like an automobile and it needs to be maintained on a regular basis to keep it running smoothly? In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Windows Update to keep your Windows computer running like a well-oiled machine. Okay, so when it comes to Windows updates, sometimes you may see notifications at the bottom right corner of your screen that indicate that you have updates to run. But this doesn't always happen, so I recommend checking for updates on a regular basis. To do this, we're going to go to our Start menu and type Check for Updates. There it is. We'll go ahead and click on Check for Updates. This will take us to the Windows Update screen and Look at this. You'll notice here that we have a cumulative update for Windows 11. And so I can click here to download and install this right now. Now, another thing I want to show you is the advanced options. So down here, you'll see the advanced options. We're going to click into this. Okay, so under these advanced options, you're going to see options for when you would like to receive updates, downloading them over metered connections or not, notifications and things like that. So underneath that, we'll have the additional options. This is where the optional updates live. So even though we saw just one update in the main Windows update screen, there are actually optional updates in here that we can install. So we can click into this and see, okay, here's that cumulative update. I'm going to want to install that, so I'll select that. But look, I also have three driver updates. So these are important too, because these drivers help other components on your computer or accessories attached to your computer continue to work smoothly. So here I have a, an HP printer update, which is a printer I have attached to this computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that as well. Here is a driver for my display, my monitor. Definitely want to update that. And then here is a driver update for my Western Digital external hard drive. So I'm going to select all of these and then go ahead and download and install the updates. All right, so when you do that, you're going to see now here's all four of my updates and I get a status off here to the right. This one is currently downloading. This one is completed. Uh, this one's still downloading. It's 7%, 8% downloading. This one is, is finished downloading and now it's installing. And so you get this status and you're going to want to wait till everything is downloaded and everything has installed. And then typically you're going to want to restart your computer once this is done. At some point, you don't have to restart right away, but eventually you'll want to restart your computer instead of just you know, letting it go to sleep. Also know that you can go ahead and minimize the Windows Update window and continue working on your computer while the updates are downloading and installing. And here's what the screen looks like when everything has downloaded and installed. It is now ready to restart. So you'll notice here we have the restart option to restart immediately, or we can click the drop down and we can schedule the restart at a specific time. You'll also notice the notification down here at the bottom right where you can go ahead and restart if you'd like. You'll notice that it is letting us know that our device will restart to update outside of active hours and that it takes an estimated three minutes to complete the restart. Okay, so that's how you work with the Windows updates. Remember to check for those updates on a regular basis and also look for those optional updates. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you on the next one.